everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today's recipe is going to be some authentic jamaican style curd goats and this is the old school way no shortcuts and this is just absolutely delicious so here i have about two and a half to three pounds of fresh nicely washed goat meat and if you want your curry goat to be good it have to be properly seasoned i'm going to start off with a bit of salt some jerk seasoning yes and this jerk seasoning consists of all the authentic ingredients pimenta seeds which is a must in a jamaican curry some all-purpose seasoning and i like to mix my curry powder i'm using some goat curry powder along with some jamaican curry powder which is rich in color and flavor and here i have my ground seasoning i'm just going to give this a slight blend making a flavorful green seasoning onion and garlic skeleton and thyme pimenta peppers and of course scotch bunny pepper just use the pepper according to your spice tolerance i'm going to add a few tablespoonful in and i'm just going to mix everything together and all these spices combine having this smelling amazing so now i'm going to cover this down and I'm going to allow it to sit and marinate for at least one hour. At least one hour. So the season will be able to soak within the meat. Two and a half hours later, this is looking and smelling so good. So now to my Dutch pots, I'm going to add some cooking oil along with some curry powder. And I'm going to allow the curry to toast a bit. Or what Jamaicans would say, burn the curry. Also going to add some chopped garlic and onion. And this method gives volumes of flavor to any curry dish. Now in with the goat meat. And you want to mix everything nicely together so the meat could soak up the flavors from the toasted curry infused with garlic and onion and if I should tell you this is smelling so good and it haven't even started cooking as yet so now I'm gonna cover this under the lowest heat for about five minutes so it could create its own juice and as you can see no liquid was added and it has created its own sauce and you want to allow this to cook and render down the fat just for a couple of minutes before adding any liquid and let me tell you this technique of cooking gives any stew flavors to another level this is the line between a normal curried goat and a great tasting curried goods yes man so now i'm gonna add some hot water as just as the not to drop the cooking temperature and i'm gonna cover this down under the lowest heat and i'm gonna allow it to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour until the meat is nice and tender this goat meat was really nice and soft 45 minutes later the liquid has reduced and this was tender and juicy and now for the final step now to this i'm gonna add some carrots and potatoes which is very optional but it gives the sauce texture also gonna add some pimented peppers scallion a whole scotch bonnet pepper and some fresh thyme and for the final ingredient my secret to the best tasting curd goat ever some coconut milk yes if you haven't yet tried it just give it a try gives curry amazing flavor so now you can just taste and adjust add a bit of salt if needed now i'm gonna cover this for another 10 minutes until the potatoes are cooked and that's it authentic jamaican curd goat absolutely mouth-watering it's rich in flavor i'm going to serve this over some rice and veg and this could be eaten with anything of your choice this is just finger licking i doubt it could be any better i want to thank you so very much for watching and remember if you like this video please do not leave without clicking the like button